This video is an introduction to Visual Basic for Applications, VBA. 60 years ago, BASIC was developed as a simple programming language to teach college students how to program. This figure shows an example of a BASIC program. So, BASIC is short for Beginner's All-Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code. Notice that every line is numbered to show the order of the commands to be executed and different commands are used in the program like let which assigns a value to a variable and once this program is run this would be the output result 30 years later in 1991 visual basic was developed by microsoft and two years later in 1993 Visual Basic for Application was released by Excel. So what is the difference between these two? VB can stand alone and can work indep independently, while VBA works as a part of Excel. So what, the what does the name originate? Visual refers to the fact that rather than the boring environment in Basic, Visual Basic for Application provides the user with a graphical interface and rather than using num numerous lines of code, you only need to enter pre-built objects on a screen. And Basic refers to the fact that it is using Basic language and for application is used because beginners can create useful applications by knowing only a few of the keywords. VBA, it is used by Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Access, and many other programs. It can be used uh, for saving your time in creating um, programs that, uh, do, that um, do repetitive tasks, in complex tasks, and uh, when you want to create your own codes and functions. And finally, we have Visual Basic Scripting, which is a widely used scripting language. The VBA screen is divided into these three main windows. The Editor window, where you enter your program. The Project Explorer, where you can search between your programs and modules. And Properties window, where you can find the properties of your program. A set of commands that you put here in editor window is called a macro or procedure. So these are the names that you can use instead of macro, procedure, code, program, subroutine. But it is more common to use macro in Visual Basic or application. In any VBA macro, you need to take into account these three main steps, input, processing, and output. Input can be scientific data, phone numbers or a name of a place. Processing is the way that you get from input to output. It can be formulas, calculations, commands, and algorithm. Output is what we want the program to do for us. Suppose we want to know which, is, which street in New York City go eastbound and which go westbound. So. The input is the street number or name. These are the facts that we need to take into account when creating the code. Um, so even, even number streets go eastbound, odd number streets go westbound. There are some exceptions to this rule. Streets that are not numbered should be considered. And we also need to check for streets that don't exist in New York City. And the output of this program is whether eastbound or westbound. So you enter the number or the name of the street and the output of the program would be eastbound or westbound. Now I would like to create my first VBA program. I can go to Developer tab and from Code Group select Visual Basic or I can hit Alt and F11 together and it will again pop up the window for me. Click on insert from the menu and then module. It will insert 
a module into the editor window. A module is a container for your code and allows you to divide your code into multiple sections. So I want to create a code which uh, pops up a window on my screen with a text in it. So I will start typing sub space. Sub is short for subroutine and after sub you need to enter a name for your subroutine. So I would select show message. Enter. And once you hit the enter key, end sub will appear here and between sub and end sub you need to create your code. So I would type msg box open the double quotation mark and inside the quotation mark I would enter hello world so message box is a statement that creates that uh, pop-up window for me now if you click on this run uh, button this window appears on my screen or you can go to macros from developer tab and select the subroutine and click on run now suppose i want to edit this i would be back to this editor window now i can add another command here message box And inside the quotation mark, I would type thanks. Now hit the run button. And now if you click OK, it would run uh, the second statement for you. Now I want to save this. Click on save. And here make sure to select Excel macro enabled workbook. And then select where you want to save it and you can select message box for the name or oh, show message and save it now suppose I want to create a code that writes something into a cell so I would go to developer tab and here I would open a visual basic window I would insert a module and here I will start sub space here for the name of the subroutine I would type write to sub you can type anything that you want write to sub enter and here the command that I would use is range open the parenthesis and close it inside the parenthesis Put the quotation mark and inside the quotation mark enter the cell that you want to display the value so i would type v1 dot value equals sum. so this is the format of the command that you ask the cell to display something so if you want to, if you want the cell to display a text, you need to enter the quotation mark. Hello. Enter. Now I will copy this command and paste it for the next line. This time I would like B2. To display a number so for numbers the quotation mark is not needed for enter again I will paste it here and this time I want B3 to show the result of the formula like for example 4 times 10 now if you click the run button and go back to your spreadsheet you can see hello 4 and 40 are written into these cells 
We can also create a code that gets some value from a cell. So again, I would go to Visual Basic window. Here I would insert a new module, sub, and for the name I would type get from cell. Enter. Now I would use the message box command msg box space and here range open the parenthesis the quotation mark and close the parenthesis and here I would type b2 get outside the parenthesis dot value enter so once you hit the enter key it would capitalize um, the letters uh, that are necessary and it would put spaces where, wherever necessary so now if you click the run button it would get the value from cell b2 and show this uh, in this pop-up window vba can be asked to get input from a cell perform some calculation on the input and then display the output in a new cell. Suppose I want to add the value in B7, enter with the value in B8, and um, I want this program to show the output in B10. So I would go to developer, visual basic window, insert a new module, and here I would type sub space for the name of the subroutine I would select adder enter and here I need to assign the value in b7 to a variable a equals range open the parenthesis and the quotation mark and here inside type b7 dot value enter once you hit the enter key it would capitalize the words uh, that is necessary and, and would put spaces so this command would assign the value in b7 to this variable now i'm going to copy this and paste it next line This time variable b and here b8 so this command would assign the value in b8 to this variable b now i'm gonna define a third variable c which is equal to a plus b enter now if i reverse this command i would ask vba to display the output in a new cell so i would type range Open the parenthesis, the quotation mark, and here type B10 dot value equals C enter. So this is the reverse of the first command, and uh, here I'm asking uh, this program to display in cell B10 the output, the result of this addition. So once you hit the run button and go back to the spreadsheet, you can see the result of the addition is displayed in this cell. Now if you change your values, 12, enter, 13, enter. Now from the macros, if you select the adder macro and run, it will run the program for you and show the output here. You can also add some text to your macro to become more informative. So I would back to this uh, macro here. Here I would type the single quotation mark and then I would type this statement here. This subroutine adds, adds together two values and displays the result. When you hit the enter key, you can see it 
converts to green, which shows that this is not only a data. You can input and output the data in VBA using message boxes. So I would open Visual Basic, insert a new module here, sub space, and for the name I would type add a message. Now here again, I need to assign a value to my variables. A is equal to val, open the parentheses and close it. Inside the parentheses type input box. Open the parentheses and close it. Inside the parentheses, the quotation mark. And inside the quotation mark, please enter the first value. Now enter. So this time I'm assigning the value to my variable, which is typed by the user. So the user input the data in this message box and it would be assigned to variable A. I would copy this and paste it to the next line. And this time I need to assign it to variable B. Please enter the second value. So once the message box appears, it would read, please enter the second value. Now here again, I need to define my third, va third variable, which is A plus B. Enter. And for the last command, I would, I would use message box. MSG box. C. Enter. Now I can also add a text here. So disrupt subroutine. Inputs and outputs. Data through message boxes. Enter. So if I click the run key, it would ask the first number, 12. Enter. Now it is asking for the second value. I would enter 14. And it would add those two numbers and show the output here. You can also create a button on your spreadsheet for your macro. So from Developer tab, go to Controls group, Insert, and select the first icon, which is Button, Form Control. Now your cursor is turned to a cross sign. You can drag uh, a text box here. And here you need to select the macro that you want to uh, create a button for. So add a message and then click OK. The button is created here. You can right click, edit text, or um, type it, uh, type any name that you want for this uh, button. So I would type adder message macro. So once I hit this button here, it would run the program for me. I would enter first value here, enter second value, enter, and it would show the output for me. You also have the option to record your macros in VBA. So suppose I want to create a macro that uh, sets the background color to yellow. I would go to developer from code group. I would click on record macro. Now for the name of the macro, I would type set background color. And I would leave everything else as default. Click OK. 
Now here I would go back to home tab and set the color to yellow for this cell. Now back to developer and stop recording. So if you go to macros, you can find um, set background color. And if you hit edit, you would be returned to the macro, which I already recorded. So if I select any cells on my spreadsheet and go to macros, select this um, set background color macro and run, it would set the background color to yellow. Next, 